We're going to make a gradient. You guys aren't even ready for this gradient. All right. So um, to make the um, <laughs> to make to make the uh, gradients have a grain in Illustrator, this is what I do. Uh, I make a box. Make a box with a gradient, right? So you got your gradient, but you want that gradient to have a color. So if you try to give it a color, there, red, you want a nice, you want a nice red gradient, don't you? Yeah, okay, so red gradient, and then you go to uh, texture, because you want to give it that grainy texture, right? Okay, that's looking good. Oh, it turned it black and white. It's terrible. Uh, okay, so what you actually want to do to get a red grainy texture, crap, is you want to make a black and white texture grainy. So you go through that same process, go to texture, grain, Boom. And you want to make sure that the grain type is stippled here. You can do other ones, but I haven't really gotten a lot of good results from those. So stippled, and you can adjust the contrast and intensity. And, you know, if you want a really intense grain, you got it. So you got your thing. And then you just want a, if you want a red gradient. Oh, no. No. What are you doing? No. We're going to make a box the same size. How's that? Same size box. So you, there you got your red gradient. So then what you do is you copy the grainy gradient. You want to make sure that it is on top of, see it on top of that red thing there? On top of there, you select both of them. And then in your transparency palette, which if you don't have it over there, you can find it in window. Went, went, went help, went, went help. You can find it in transparency right there, right there. And then with both of them selected, you hit make mask. And now you have a nice red gradient and you can select the mask here and you can adjust that gradient. Um, but you can see that the white is actually transparent. You can see it there. So that's how you get a nice red gradient if you want a grainy gradient uh, like the types that I use in a lot of my illustrations um, and you can still even with that you can just select oh my god you can just select the grain in here and you can still adjust it and it will affect the mask if you don't hit cancel this was supposed to be my recorded demonstration for this to show people how good I am in explaining things. And I t explained it terribly. Anyway. <laughs> That's how you do it, daughter. You asked. You didn't know what you're asking for. You won't ever ask me for anything ever again. And I'm sorry. Um...